Welcome to Soto Creations, where we make your imagination a reality. Thank you so much for clicking on this video to watch this beautiful balloon wall that I put together. Um, I apologize in advance if I get distracted, but it's past my kids' bedtime. If you have kids of your own and you tell them to go to bed, that's when they come up with that to-do list of all the things they want to accomplish that same night before they turn 18. Now I'm joking, but not really. Anyway, today I am bringing to you a balloon wall. I have a new method that I put together and just thought I've had several balloon walls on my channel. I'll link those videos down in the description box. But I've been thinking of another way that I can put the balloon wall together that's slightly easier than the ones I put in the past and that's why I decided to put this wall together. Now I am doing a gender reveal because I just figured we want something different but also fun and adding different shades of blue and different shades of, green, of, of pink would just make the balloon wall look absolutely beautiful. I'm also working on a few things for the fall as well, but I'm inflating an additional shade of pink here just to add, to mix things up a little with the shades of blue I already have. I also, I am going to be using my six foot metal round backdrop that you see behind me there. It's already assembled and ready to go, but I'm putting this all together with this new method. Now, I really like gender reveals, especially when the parents are neutral about what kind of gender they're wanting. I've seen very funny and crazy videos about gender reveals that don't go very well and it's interesting to see um, the gender. I remember when I was pregnant with twins and I wasn't expecting twins and it was really exciting finding out the gender. Of course, we didn't have a gender reveal. We just found out during our ultrasound. I'm inflating the five inch balloons as well. Just to add the filler, as you always know, when I do these organic balloons, which is what I do most of the time. I have my fillers. Now, let me show you the method I am coming up with. And please tell me at the end, or if you try these out, which one you find easier compared to the other tutorials. At the end of the day, I felt like either one would work depending on what I decide to do. But what I'm doing here is alternating the shades of pink and the shades of blue, but I'm just going to fill the base of that circle first. And I'll keep looking at the design and adding alternating shades of pink and blue so that they're not all, the same colors are not all clustered in the same place. As you can see, I have the blue, but I'm, designing it as though I was creating a balloon wall. You see me make, I think two or three balloon walls that are square in the past, not these circular ones. And with those balloon walls, I create columns of organic balloons and just put those together. So that's the method kind of that I'm using, but I'm using my circular frame as a guide so I'm not going too far past that frame but also making sure that the balloons are in the middle of the frame and it's the frame is covered so at the end it's still gonna look like a circle I'm going to use those 260 Q balloons to tie one cluster to another of course if I'm doing this for an event I would be putting more of those just to make it really nice and tight and secure. But in this video, because I'm just trying to bring out a new method for you guys, I am not going to really secure that. But at the end, you'll see how I fill all the gaps with flowers and also with the five inch balloon. So 
we're on to our third column, which we're putting uh, horizontal. All the columns are just stacked on top of each other horizontally. And this is going to fill up our circle and just give us the new design. I'm also paying attention to how the colors look, seeing exactly what position I want to align them and just to make sure that I have somewhat of a variation in the shades of blue and the shades of pink. So they're not all clumped in one side where it's all pink and one side all blue. Now I have here in blue, the Sapphire, the pale blue and the Robin's egg and all those are Qualitex brand balloons and the other shades of pink we have a classic pink in Qualitex and the tough text the one I started I was inflating at the beginning of the video is pixie in tough text so those are the colors I'm using in this video and I really like the way they turned out an option would have been to go with a lighter pink kind of a pale pink but I did not have that in stock and I was trying to get this video out to you guys for today so here it is now my thought process is if I put another column going right above those it's going to be hard to fill it to where it looks like a circle so what I decide to do here again I'm matching colors around but what I decide to do here is just fill up the top part of that circle so instead of going straight across i'm just gonna cover up that metal arch and then fill the gap in the middle that worked out better because again we still want it to look like a circle but we were making things easier by just filling up that top part so i'm just looking at it to make sure that everything is filled tight nice and aligned and i'm going to be able to fill it again alternating blues filling where i can and making sure that everything just ties in together i have a couple of circle backdrops this one has been great i bought this one second and i love it because it's not as tall as my seven foot this is six foot tall and i can still work with it without using a ladder with my seven foot gold circle backdrop i have to have a ladder to work with it but that is just one thing to keep in mind another thing i want to share with you is sometimes it's harder to make everything align and close up when you have those big 7 and 16 inch balloons so another option you can do which i guess would be a different method is use all 11 foot balloons sorry 11 inch balloons and at the end just put in your 17 or even bigger to just add accents to your balloon wall if you're interested in that method, just let me know in the comments down below and I can do that for you just to show you a different technique which would probably be easier than all the other ones having different sizes of balloons. So I think that would be a good one too. I've done a balloon garland before with a sink with the 11 inches but it was just a simple round balloon gar uh, garland on the metal stand so here i am just filling in with all my five inch clusters and then once i'm done i will fill in with my flowers i'll let you enjoy the video again please consider subscribing click that subscribe button click the notification bell so you don't miss any videos we post every tuesday and this channel is all about decor thank you once again for watching to all those who are already subscribed thank you and also if you've been watching and you haven't subscribed hey what are you waiting for click that subscribe button request any other videos you would like and i'll gladly work on those for you I'll let you enjoy the rest of the video. Have a blessed day.